Okay, hello, Pedigree Stage Stop Race fans. Here we are back for the second take with Remy Cost. So we talked about your logistics, which are quite ex extensive. And um, so you have 33 dogs, 33, 34 dogs on the truck. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your training. Are you both running dogs? Um, how many times do you train a week? T fill us in a little bit. You speak? Oh. Uh, so we we will both do some races during the winter, but Remy is going to do the main races if we do only one um, tra tra trailer. If only one is racing, it will be Remy. So on the stage shop, we, we choose to do only one uh, musher because we won't have any other handlers. And uh, um, now we train, uh, so Remy has 16 dogs in his uh, dogs training for stage stop. And they run every two days, every second days. And then we have some younger dogs that we don't plan on, make them run on the stage stop, and maybe on race later in the winter. And uh, these, uh, I train them for now. So you're basically training Remy's team one day and then the other dogs the next day. That makes for long days, just the two of you. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it's easier than in, in Lapland because in uh, we used to have to train the dogs and go to work. So now it looks like very easy days <laughs> because we are both full time on the dogs. So, so yeah, there's a lot to do, but we have time to do it. Well, I guess, yeah, living in, in the motor home, it's almost like total focus the rest of of life is kind of not there we have only this to do yeah <laughs> so who's your cute dog that keeps on looking in the picture it, it's the one i was um she ran this morning she's called bagera and i was doing the massage and everything to check that she was fine after running and remy had problem to log in on the meeting so i came with the dog <laughs> and so now i'm here to help him translate so she's right. having a, she's supposed to be at the back, but she's having a, a time in front. Yeah. yeah, well, she she loves it. And it's it's nice to see. Um, how, how old is she? She's uh, three. Okay. So te tell us, actually introduce yourself a little bit too. No, you yourself. Introduce ah, yourself. yes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Aurelie. I'm a veterinarian from, from France. I've also studied um, osteopathy, so I'm working most of the time with the dogs, our sport dogs, and um, I'm I've done some races also, but mostly with like the younger dogs in Europe, and um, so yeah, I like sport dogs, but I also like to take care of them after they run. So that's a pretty dynamite combination, Masha and veterinarian Masha. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, you picked well. <laughs> you complement each other very nicely. <laughs> so in in Sweden, you worked as a veterinarian? Yeah, I worked, uh, well, the last seven years as a vet. And uh, and we had a um, tourism company in Sweden where we worked with French people coming for a week doing um, sled dogs, horse riding and everything in winter and summer. Did so we work? were pretty busy. Did you work with Granor Granlage from France? Uh, the operator? No, no, no. no uh, an, another company. <clears throat> oh, a okay. bit the same. But not back, them. back in the day, I used to work with those guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when I looked at the uh, Grand Odyssey, most stages are quite shorter than the stage stop. In 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 La Grande Odyssey, I only saw one stage where your runtime was about two hours. So, are you training any different this year? Yeah, we change we change the training, but before the Grand the Grand Odyssey is um, more longer than the Pedigree. Uh, uh, before uh, twenty eighteen, Grand Odyssey was like staged around 70, 80 kilometers per day. And Remy used to race this race also. So we, we can't go back to five, the dogs five years ago, but we we try to adapt the training. We know it's going to be hard because everything is new, like the new food, uh, live in the truck, and everything is different. But we try to adapt the training because they will have to run all the time, more than 50, which they're not used to. 
So um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So you're talking 50 kilometers. Yes. <laughs> yes, we miles. don't talk in yeah. miles, sorry. Well, I <laughs> know, I mean, of course, of course I'm in the of America. Myself, you know, the money I, is yeah. different, the distance is different, everything is different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. So why did the did the Grand Rue de Ceres shorten the distances? What do you think? Why? What, what, what prompted them to do that? Why did they shorten the distances? Why did they shorten the distances? Because after a few years, not too much people would like come to the Grand Odyssey because it is, is too long. So the Grand Odyssey decided to uh, make half kilometer, 40, 45 kilometers per day. And a lot of people come for, for making uh, uh, this distance. Yeah. So it's, it's very good and a very good measure come for the mid distance competition. Because in Europe, 40, around 45 kilometers would be European mid distance, which is yeah. different in North America. <laughs> but then, then I also see they have different classes, like limited and, and open. What's the difference between those two different classes? Uh, between limited and open, they, they did two classes to try to attract more people. Uh, so people could run the race with less dogs. And so open is the one Remy did, and there you have a pool of 12 dogs and you run, you, you choose six to 10 dogs each day. And in the limited, it's the one I did. We have a pool of nine dogs and we choose, we can run from five to six um, dogs each day, but it's the same distance. You just have less dogs resting and less dogs running every day. So looking at last year, you both won you both won your categories yeah yeah and also yeah. Lo looking at it um you know you won most heats out of those categories too you know when when i look at it i think you won eight out of the 10 heats wait yeah you yeah that's pretty that's pretty Im impressive so i have i have to say that so already if there would be a shorter version of the stage stop would you run that like would you do the same as 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 what you did in in the grand odyssey if it would be offered we we could think about it because we don't have uh two two pools of 16 dogs so we couldn't do the um, the we couldn't both do the stage stop but i think that running at least in la grande odyssey with the steep hills uh, running six dogs is a little bit uh, is not enough, I think. Uh, when we because we used to race, um, we do the same race, so we meet the people running with eight dogs. Most people run with eight and not ten. And um, yeah, I think uh, running eight dogs on the Grand Odyssey would have been better. So I don't want to have uh, handlers on the race. So I guess if you want to give good um, good care to the dogs, if you want to take good do good massage and so they have a good recovery it would be hard to be two mushers and no handlers most, most definitely that would be really pushing <laughs> so okay, for now is... the idea would not be but maybe maybe later if you uh, if we can go and have less dogs it could work out but yeah not sure okay let's finish this second installment here and then i will come back for one more 